Good evening. We are still in Genesis chapter 9, and we're beginning at verse 18. The sons of Noah who went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was peopled. Noah was the first tiller of the soil. He planted a vineyard and drank of the wine, became drunk, and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it upon both their shoulders, and walked backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. Okay, this is a strange story. First, Noah is a farmer who is the first one referenced to plant a vineyard and produce wine. Apparently, he was celebrating the harvest because the text says that he got drunk. Uh, now, there aren't any judgmental tones uh, toward Noah for what he did. It doesn't seem to ridicule Noah for his drunkenness um, in the least. After he was drunk, uh, because he was drunk, he passed out in the tent and he was naked. And again, there doesn't seem to be any sort of rebuke against Noah uh, for his condition. But Ham, the youngest son of Noah, went into the tent, saw his father naked, and then went outside to tell his brothers about it. Now, throughout the ages, uh, scholars have debated about what Ham really must have done uh, to warrant the level of curse that will be placed upon him and his uh, legacy, as we'll see in just a moment, because it's assumed that simply seeing your father naked and making fun of that situation to your brothers doesn't seem to be enough to warrant the curse. And for this day and age, that would probably be the case. Um, it's probably in poor taste, but we wouldn't necessarily uh, feel like somebody should be cursed throughout their generations because of what happened. And so some scholars have assumed that Ham committed some sort of sexual crime against his father, committed some act of incest. Um, but I think it's important to note that while today we might not see what Ham did as um, anything more than just in poor taste, in the ancient Near East, dishonoring your parents, especially your father, was considered an egregious crime and in some situations could warrant um, a death penalty. And so the simple act of Ham uh, going in to see his father naked, first of all, him accidentally seeing his father naked is not the problem. Him taking advantage of that situation and instead of trying to honor his father by rectifying and covering him up, he exploited the situation. He goes out and makes fun of his father to his two brothers and encourages them to join in in dis disrespect of their father. Uh, of course, they didn't do that. They did the honorable thing and walk in backwards and cover him up so as not to see him in that state. The very act of Ham disrespecting his father in that day and age was enough to warrant uh, the curse that was placed upon him. Now, uh, perhaps something more happened, but it's important to know that what the text says is enough um, because it was that level of disrespect that in that day and age uh, would have been appalling. When Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, a slave of slaves shall he be to his brothers. He also said, Blessed by the Lord, my God, be Shem and let Canaan be his slave. God enlarge Japheth and let him dwell in the tents of Shem and let Canaan be his slave. Now, those verses that I just read, uh, verses 25 through 27, 
where God cursed Ham and called him a slave to his brothers, uh, has been wrongly and sadly used to justify slavery throughout history. Let me just share that if you are using the Bible as a weapon against someone, you are reading it wrong. If you find yourself looking in scripture for ammunition against someone else or uh, someone else's position, uh, then you are missing the point of scripture. You need to remove, um, for, you need to forget about the speck in someone else's eye and remove the plank from your own. Read the Bible to hear God's word for you. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. All the days of Noah were 950 years and he died. Tomorrow we'll start in Genesis chapter 10. Hope you have a great evening. Thanks for joining me.